After a wild turn of events in court, a Benton County judge declares a mistrial in the second Mauricio Torres capital murder case. Yesterday, Torres was found guilty of capital murder and battery in the 2015 death of his six year old son. Sentencing began this morning. Jurors heard testimony from some of Torres' stepchildren, including his stepson, Quentin Martin, who you just saw. When the prosecutor asked if he was sexually abused by Torres, Martin jumped over the stand and tried to attack Torres. The jury was dismissed, and the judge declared a mistrial, even though he was already convicted. Both attorneys from each side say they've never seen anything like this before happen. I think Mr. Martin was... Um, he frankly was heartbroken about it. And that, look, um, you know, it's a hard thing for him. And uh, I don't think, I certainly cannot blame him for doing it. You never know what's going to happen in a case like this. There's a lot of emotions, and this is the kind of thing you get when you try to put someone in. This isn't the first time Torres has had his murder conviction turned over. He was originally found guilty of capital murder, sentenced to death. But the state Supreme Court overturned the decision, saying the state didn't adequately prove its case for the death penalty.